swine flu develops resistance to Tamiflu. The World Health Organization reported that the number of confirmed cases has surpassed 77,200, with at least 332 known fatalities. After an alarming surge in lives lost this past week in Argentina, with 14 new fatalities over a two-day period, the nation's government is closing schools in an attempt to protect millions of children from the swine flu virus. Meanwhile, recent fatalities include a 29-year-old Brazilian man, a 20-year-old expectant Moroccan mother in Spain, and a 9-year-old child who became the third loss in the UK, where swine flu numbers jumped in a few days to about 6,500. Pharmaceutical company Roche Holding AG has also announced the first known swine flu case for which the antiviral medication Tamiflu was ineffective. Although the patient was able to recover with another medicine, this indicates that the virus is developing resistance by mutating its form, which could lead to a deadlier version of the swine flu. Virology experts say that this evolution has been occurring through the accomplice role of pig factory farms. We thank all health officials, governments and health care groups for your efforts to alert the public to the persistence of the swine flu problem and safeguard health. Our heart goes out to all those afflicted or suffering due to loss of loved ones. As we pray for the virus to diminish, we know that the root solution remains in the adoption of an organic vegan lifestyle to eliminate the risk of animal-related infections and restore the vitality of all humanity.